we've really seen an educational piece with, uh, you know, President Trump coming out and, you know, wanting to annex uh, Greenland and wanting to do a deal for the rare earths in Ukraine. And, and I think it's, it's become rare earths have become a bit of a household name. And if you haven't, if you weren't really familiar with what rare earths are, I think, uh, you know, everyone's a little bit more educated in the last six to eight months. So, but uh, look, just to uh, tell you a little bit about the rare earths that we have, uh, we have what are called the heavy rare earths. And there's a saying uh, that goes, not all rare earths are created equal. And uh, when you get one rare earth, you get all 15 of your rare earths. And these rare earths are really your lanthanide series towards near the bottom of your periodic table. And they have unique, uh, but very similar chemical properties. Hence, when you get one, you get all of them. Within those different rare earths have different economic values. So some of them could be worth $6, some of them could be worth $1,000 a kilogram. And um, it, it all depends on the skew and and the basket of what you've got. So for us, we've got what's called the heavy rare earths, in particular dysprosium and terbium. And economically, they are you know superior to most other rare earths.